and we need something to go back with and to continue with us on the days of our lives that very thing that is dear to your heart speak it to us this morning give us understanding and help us to get all we need to do so that we'll be able to run this christian race to the end successfully in jesus name Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The day I was introduced here about three weeks ago, I remember I said my agenda uh, were to be three. And that is uh, holiness, prayer, evangelism. And today I want to map out I shall do for prayer and very soon it will be uh, if it will be revealed to every one of us so that the church will pray and be set on fire for the Lord. For the foundation of all these is holiness. That is why you see all the groups are visited. Holiness, holiness has been the message. So a hundredth of that this morning we are looking at the true experience of holiness for life and ministry. The true experience of holiness for life and for ministry. As our test, we are going to read the two passages of the Bible. You will link them and you will see they are conveying the same message to us. As our apostles, 26 verse 18. As chapter 26 verse 18. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive the forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith in me nteta mo yen man mo e ka wa le wo ke kam e ro ko wana e po ngo to e po ngo do satan e ti na ba si man mo e bo refund me dion po you dem ko tu me mo mi ma e ke na mo sana e to ke bo re dem mo ya mi just suppose that, combine that with Luke chapter 1, verses 74 and 75, you will see that those two verses complement each other. In Luke 74 at that he will grant unto us that we will be delivered out of the hand of our enemies my serving without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life the the ultimate aim of redemption is to be delivered from Satan's kingdom in order to serve God in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Now, 
So every child of God must therefore aim at a life of holiness and righteousness in this present dirty and morally polluted world. Kentre ofri ni to abasi na inye ne kikere ni dwe risa nu wem ke mbiara yengwa kwa emanu semi. And also in the face of modern carefree and psychedelic Christianity that are pervaded the Christendom even today. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 15. Philippians 2, verse 15. Well, Philip, I will about my foot. Philippians 2 15 that you may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom you shine as lights in the world. Philip Bible receive out of my foot, man mufu man mufu kunye no be mi pe e kunu enye ne do do e e di e di ni to ba se ke na na den do ku fon kwa kwa ha e di o e ma na e mi mufu ke ya ya ma ko tun mo e mi then turn to have your own In loyalty to the Lord Jesus, we are to be blameless, pure, and without spot, in order to proclaim the glorious redemption to the lost world. Can the can the know about in Jesus Christ? And then you do when I go to one point, or after you know you about the because the holiness experience makes us to live a better. And more useful, more profitable life than when we were saved. If you already stand a web, and I'm you do when I can you do dory, I can in any key man at the far. So the sanctified life makes us a better brother. When I can stand at the name you need, nothing did I tell Iran, a better sister, nothing did I tell Iban, a better father. A better mother, a better child, a better friend, a better believer, a better worker, and a leader, a better leader in the neighborhood, in the family, in the church, and the society. It is not just a Sunday, Sunday. Affair, a Sunday Sunday life, but a, lo a lifelong life. It can work at all there. Need with this and when Kate did it, bong, bong, Eddie, this and when go through when yen. There are circles, religious circles, where you find them Monday, Saturday, they are living in sin. On Saturday, they will go for confession, and uh, then on Sunday, they will just leave me, move holily inside the church as if they cannot kill an ant. But after the church service, some of them go back and sacrifice. Some of them go back with their boyfriends and girlfriends, and they continue a life of sin for the rest of the week. Any any no swebo, ni eni mo kire mo ma ena mi diong po kukuru sen ni ena ma kem sam ke Saturday mo eke yara de mi diong po mo ni ena ma di Sunday mo esta anti kame kendi wunu ene esta asung sung. Eri ama sam Monday e kai bunu fana de bunu fana wan. In essence, what I'm saying is that there is no day we can take leave or vacation from holiness. There are called unto holiness all the days of our lives. Holiness is a sweet experience. Because, because it produces the following. Number one, hospitality. It also produces holy honesty. Because when you are holy, you are hospitable. You are able to accommodate all, both the good and the bad. There will be honesty in your dealing with others. You also know that holiness can also produce healing for you. Healing. healing. It can also produce health. Because when the devil comes to afflict you and he sees holiness 
that holiness will repel him and he will go with his sickness and that sickness will come upon himself holiness produces humility it makes you humble and I'm fair sword in them produces happiness. And I'm fair any directions. Because the work that is done in your heart. Utum kuru utum enam utum kesi. There's no way happiness will not spring up. Utum enam de kesi fika me kani biyong. Holiness also produces the Holy Ghost. Osio edi edi udo amani di sana spring up. When you are sanctified, you are not qualified to receive the Holy Ghost. Amani yene di sana spring up. Modo ni ba udo amani di sana spring up. And finally, holiness produces heavenly. Heritage. Holiness will make a way for you to go to heaven. It is again this backdrop. We look at this message under the three following uh, subheadings. Number one, we look at the insufficiency. Number two, the insurance. Number three, the importance. I will now mention in detail as we move along. Number one, the insufficiency of Samaritan hospitality without holiness of heart. The insufficiency of Samaritan hospitality without holiness of heart. And we were just touched until last week about the good Samaritan. Which good Samaritan was hospitable. Full of hospitality. I want to say that is part of the good works that cannot give us salvation. Neither will it give us sanctification. Time will fail me to read Luke 10, 25 to 37. The story of the good Samaritan. A man was beaten by teeth and left her dead in a coma. A levi passed and uh, he didn't want to be unclean. He sent it with the priest. But people were neglected and looked down upon the Samaritans. The Jews hated them with perfect hatred. That's how they also hated the Jews. That was the man that stood down and helped that Jew who was wounded. He needed one day in cut. Then we look no fee. He would be okay. Don't forget if he turns water. Then he turns away from me. Amen. I will strike. I will not. Any women I will priest. I did a quack. I will not. Any women I will Samaria. I will not. Then me two a case of one born Samaritan. If the, if the good Samaritan had died without salvation, without sanctification, without holiness, he would have gone to hell. Why? In Ephesians chapter 2. Verses 8 and 9. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and are not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works. Let any man should boast. Salvation, sanctification is the gift of God. You do not. Uh, you do not uh, just uh, earn it by merit, but by the grace of God. God came from came a young mufo. Oto came body them. Eri yanga mi yon ito mufo di abasi no no. E yekule te di came from abasi. I can am yene walk from me. In Romans chapter twelve, we are not underplaying the importance of hospitality, but what we are saying is that it's not enough to earn you. Uh, a ticket to heaven. In Roman chapter 12, verse 3. So I think it's 12, verse 13. 12, verse 13. 
distributing to the necessity of sins given to what hospitality is a good thing rumi bore do me ba odum do eta eno ikoro ba sisina de mo ebene ni kama esene wo we make it genuinely hospitable is when you are born again and you are sanctified but if you put hospitality before them you are putting the cat you are putting the cat before the horse. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. For 2 Timothy, sorry. Okay, it's first Timothy. Sorry. It's first, I actually wrote down. A bishop, then must be blameless, a husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Open forward to Titus chapter 1 verse 8. But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good man, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate. Chapter, chapter 4 1 Peter 4 verse 9 1 Peter 4 now use hospitality one to another without grudging we are, we are saying that hospitality is good but it's not a substitute for salvation rather it's a substitute for holiness let me illustrate it by reading Matthew chapter 19 how Jesus encountered a rich young ruler who said he had been a very good man from birth he had observed all the ten commandments but look at what happened when yeah. the question of consecration yeah. came up the question of submission which are evidence evidences of sanctification that man failed the test yeah. in matthew chapter 19 yeah. jesus verse 20 to cut the story short the young man said unto him all these things have i kept from my youth what like i hear then jesus said unto him if thou will be perfect, if you are going to be holy, go and sell all that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come and follow me. Did he follow Christ? No. He went. He went because he was very rich. Jesus no man can be sanctified can be saved or sanctified by works by good deeds or strenuous efforts to keep God's commandments one must first be saved and then press on to be sanctified human effort is not enough to make us to live a holy life holiness is practically unachievable without the second work of grace which we call the theological term sanctification our good works will not suffice for holiness therefore hospitality is not a substitute 
for sanctification. You can be hospitable, pretentiously hospitable, and showing good deeds towards your neighbor, but that is not a substitute for sanctification. Nice behavior is not a substitute for the new bad, talkless of sanctification. Sincerity is not a substitute for sanctification. You can be sincere. What oh, believe out there, some of them are very sincere. Man that graduate, there was a white man that taught me. And they will come to the class. And will say some things. When they made a mistake, will come by and say, Oh, students, I made the mistake. This is the correct thing. Which African man will not will not do except he sanctified. That man was not born again, but he was sincere. Goodness is not a substitute for godliness. We can only be produced. By a heart that is sanctified. Commandments of servants is not a substitute for circumcision of the heart. Religiosity is not a substitute for righteousness. Somebody can be religious fervent in the things of God but is not genuinely righteous as by the righteousness of Christ sanctimoniousness is not a certitude for Christian perfection which is sanctification be sanctimonious looking humble, looking good, looking nice the bottom line is you must be sanctified you must be holy point number two the insurance of sustained holiness in the home the insurance of sustained holiness in the home uh, if you read Ephesians chapter 5 likely relationship in the home between husband and wife with that of the Christ and the church the bride and the bridegroom look at from verse 26 Specifically, although you have to read from verse 21 to verse 33, but look, look at verse 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot, nor wrinkle, or any sort of thing, but it should be holy and without blemish. So men ought to love their wives and their own body. He that loveth his wife, loveth himself. Ephesus, he will return. Don't go to me, he return. And he will return. He will return. He will return. He will return. Man, man, yada. Man, yada. He will return. Man, yada. But I will return. He will return. He will return. And now, man, Man, I will return. He will return. Do for us. He will return. 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 Man, I will so the first point, the first point of call for a holy life is the home. Us in the church, we pretend to be holy, but when we get to our homes, we are like tigers. 
Look at the case of Abraham. Genesis 18, verse 19. So I know him that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. Genesis 18, 19. Genesis ibo le fre ta odun me fre na ko ro me me re yen pa yen pe teme di to ese yu fo ese e ke di tene re yen e je e pe mu sun jehova ndi nam si fonde iyun ni nde pa jehova pada ko go se ko do ko da ba abraham o so yen god was not to bring to pass his higher calling upon abraham until abraham has set his house in order in holiness and in righteousness akana te Abraham abe mi so ana me po fo o se ada fo ke ri sa ni do ye ri ne ni do be mi so ba se me se ko won odo no yen so yen so the evidence of a sanctified life must first show forth in the home be mi so when e ke sa ne de ana abe mi so wuri dem ke po fo yen that say the charity begins at home it must first show forth in the home in the relationship between husband and wife, parents and children. A home that is saturated with holiness is devoid of hatred, envy, malice, jealousy, bitterness, quarreling, fighting insincerity and selfishness it will fail me to analyze them one by one it will follow me oh you are the yeris and who am yeris and you do and you go for me who do it what who swear it what who talk it what who forbid what don't mean it what who can't go it what you know for the standard of me would say as a career you want to say elizabeth again i'm there in ephesians 4 13 1 let all bitterness and rot and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be ye kind one to another tender hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake has forgiven you then with ephesus he would say in an would me say it would be a double kid ephesus he would in an would me say it would be a double kid although okay then our love for one another in the home deepens when our hearts are circumcised and we live pure lives. Parents circumcised in heart, children circumcised in heart, that, that home is already a heaven on earth. Ima kinyere de ke ko fa nye. Aye to mo fon, aye to mo to mo, aye kinyere de di sanesat. Koro basi yo nye nye ne, e di sanesere mi mani man nye no to to mo kaiso. In such a home, the love of God fills fills us in greater measure and flows to others through us. Kada mi nye di sanesere du de. Ima basi me yo ke se nye. Onye mo be ke nye no to mo fen. The love, this love cannot be quenched by circumstances or hindered in any way irrespective of which member of the family have done something wrong against us holiness and experience that produces the following in the home number one h in the spelling of holiness stands for helpfulness letter h helpfulness you help one another in such home you help one another in such home the husband will help the wife the wife will help the husband the parents will help the children. The children, in a way, will also help their parents. Oh, stand for oneness. Oneness. 
members are speaking the same thing and doing the same thing in tune, in tune with the word of God there's no dissenting voice in such a home when you enjoy oneness Satan cannot break through the LD stands for love love that is what holiness produces in our life love and all the other fruit of the spirit they are regulated by love. Oh, spirit again. Ima die beso. Can read Ephesians 4 25, Titus 2 4. Make any good if it's was evil in our own media. It's on the end Titus. It will be back. I stand for intimacy. He called Radano. I did an intimate relationship among members of the family. Stand for no retaliation. Maybe the wife or friend, the husband, okay. is waiting for an opportunity to fight back or okay. vice versa. Okay. Then E stand for escape from judgment. Escape from judgment. And uh, let's look at that one. Second Peter two verse seven. Look at what saved Lord. Second Peter two seven. Second Peter, And deliver just, just Lot. Verse with the fifty conversation of the wicked for that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing verse his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deed that what all saved him when god was to destroy sodom and gomorrah his righteousness and holiness that saved him and his family they escaped even though they were daily darling but god spared them because of the heart of righteousness and holiness he found in that family only one young lot and in another world so letter s and uh, s stand for selflessness we are not doing every to promote yourself your children are hungry you are eating and they don't eat that's self selfishness you should be selfless working for others the last letter s stands for submission in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21, Ephesians 5, 21, it says, Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. Let me give you an example of two families in the Bible. They were united in God's work in God's ministry. In Luke chapter 1. Luke Ibuke. Verses 5 and 6. You see the case of Zechariah and Elizabeth with all the problems they had. They were serving God, the holiness, the righteousness. God visited them with blessing. Luke, chapter 1 verse 6 there was in the days of Herod the king of Judah a certain priest named Zachariah he was a priest, a pastor Zachariah of the course of Abiah and his wife was or the daughter of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth and they were both righteous before God walking in all the commandment ordinances of the Lord blameless then when uh, look at what the Lord Judea, Okukin, Okodu, Emiyekere, Zakaria, Awonka, Abija, 
Elizabeth mombi ba enyu edi edi ne nke enyu na ba si esanga esanga ke kuguru mewo jehova enanando roman 16 verse 3 rumi bo e freket wo me si ikasilia and aquila my helpers in Christ jesus they were very close to uh, each other anywhere priscilla was mentioned the husband name was mentioned anywhere aquila was mentioned her husband the wife was mentioned they were very united in ministry in the work of god then when rumi bore say fre ke rudu mita e kom priska ya aquila ye nsan to me ke christ mom bi bai bere ke re ko kure yin priscilla e ye kure yin aquila ndi na ye kun mom bi bai ke rin san to mke ni na to no ba point number 3 ayo ipo ita the importance of scriptural holiness of heart before entering heaven the importance of scriptural holiness of heart before entering heaven Isaiah chapter 35 it is from verse 8 Isaiah 35 reading from verse 8 Isaiah and the highway shall be there and the way and it shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it and it shall be for those the wayfaring men the fools shall not aid therein no lion fighters and quarreler shall be there nor any ravenous beast shall go up those who are violent it shall not be found there but the redeemed shall walk there God me tell ita ndi no po sun ye dudo you sun ndi na ye ke ru sun e di na na wo baba ri na npo ke ni yun isa na ke ke se di be ndi na ye di mo ye di e ke mo mbo ni san ndi me na ni bo i di ru o god me so ke la yo ni di ru o do di mbo mbo ni tan tai wa i di ru o do i di o una i di yun ru ke ke se i ku e mo ndo ndo e di mo ke fa de e ye san do matthew chapter 5 verse 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall do what? They shall see God. Matthew Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Hebrews 12, verse 14. The Bible says, Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall do what see the lord so isaiah 35 has shown us that holiness is the highway to heaven then the other two places i read they are shown us that holiness is the visa to heaven no boastful no holier than that attitude that is boastful holiness like the one that the rich man the the pharisee has beaten the temple when the the publican was praying along with him in the temple that is boastful holiness no more self-made holiness but holiness of heart will take us to heaven no self-made holiness moral uprightness or being at your best liberal sincere serving humanity and emulating heroes of holiness will be enough to take us to heaven they are not enough to take us to heaven trying to be at your best look at what the bible says if i saw people say i'm just trying to be at my best in psalm 39 verse 5 behold thou hast made my days and i am bread and my age is nothing before thee verily 
every man at his best state is altogether what vanity. God is holy. Jesus is holy. Jesus said it is Holy Spirit is holy. This is spirit is Many saints who have died were holy. Our camp during the retreats or during a program like this. Our church, our congregation must be holy. Anna, O Tue Don Obasi, Ufa Obasi, in the year the GCK, in the year the retreat, Anna, Edi, Edi Sanabia, Manator of Asiru Union. Those who live in sin will not be allowed into heaven. Heaven is so holy as to accommodate sinners. Mommy, do they, Wemi Young Po, Idi Kamek, and it will be born of Asi, God will be born of Asia Sanitati, Idi Yimaki Young Po, sinners must repent. Baslida must seek restoration. Believers must resolve and be resolutely, resolutely determined to make heaven. Let me take my last reading, then I make comments. We're going to prayer. First John chapter 3 John from verse 1 kids. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God, therefore the world knoweth us not because he knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not appear what we shall be, but we know that when it shall appear, we shall be with him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purify himself, even as Christ himself is pure. All believers who share the hope of eternal life must press unto the experience of sanctification and show color appetites, base desires, all forms of sexual immorality, browsing polluted sites on the internet and feasting on pornographic material that can defeat or quench our desire for purity. Kentre, go from the top as a media reunion, Nicola Bassin, Nicola Bubama Bassi, and I treat them moisture. Can this send me the only semi issue that can be said? You can put an economy, Mempo made the three days of the sweet pong of Bassi, Mahatodo, Afo, come and did the other pong of Bassi, it is seeing in for fair. The time will come very soon when social status, all kinds of titles, and academic certificates will be completely useless and forgotten. But purity of heart and holiness will remain the one qualification that God will be looking for to usher us into heaven at death or at the rapture. Go to Inikeri, Bubu, Mikoiti, and Moe Kamara Kobio, Mikoiti, and Moe Kamara Kukara, Mikon Weri Toro, Yakubu Sen, you need your mother, keep your order in boat. A woman, the Yom Kaba, Mukwese Yom Lady, and his son Ido, and his son Esri Pong, and you are the Raja, and you look at one of your bass. Life is short. Go to women, Amro. Power is transient, it's ephemeral. In Yom Kaba, power is transient, it doesn't last long. Physical beauty is short lived. It is only the life lived in holiness and righteousness for Christ that will count in the end. Let's rise up and pray. Let's rise up and pray. Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you. You have heard the word of God very plain. On the true experience of holiness 
for life and ministry. We are seeing the sufficiency of Samaritan hospitality. That being hospitable, being just nice and good, is not enough for us to make heaven. We have seen that we must bring holiness to our doorposts, to our homes, to our homes. And outside in the church, but from the home, it will now spread to the church to other places. Pray. If it's miracle, all of us will be shouting now. But this is what will provide you. Visa to heaven, and you are keeping quiet. Pray. 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 Pray.